Hello everyone, Zekor here, and today we're gonna be running into walls and being lost, and also maybe trying to kill people with the AC7 SMG. Oh, it's not a good map because um, you're gonna see like it's, it's dominated by snipers and and snipers. That's it. <laughs> that's pretty much it. You see, like the enemy team has like three snipers. I mean, that's not a lot actually. I thought they'd be more, but You'll see, like, um, yeah, quite a disadvantage if you're not sniping on this map. But we're gonna try to make this sni this sniper, this SMG work. Even though it's, like, one of the worst SMGs, and I don't recommend anybody goes for it. Um, if you haven't figured it out yet, the reason I'm even making this video with it is because it's part of the Top Gun event. Um, and I wanted you guys to see what this gun is like, and, you know... Pretty much totally to avoid it because I I highly doubt it's in my opinion it's not anywhere near as good as um as um the other options in there like um I think the best one is um so you see um <laughs> headshot tanks it's number one you can get those those fresh good juicy headshot tanks. Um, just generally, there's nothing appealing about this gun, like, I'm sorry, I don't want to hurt your, f I don't mean to hurt your feelings this badly, AC7 and, AC7 enthusiasts, but, it's really nothing good about this gun, <laughs> to be honest, oh my god, it's got bazooka, um, there was a time when this gun used to be, like, the best SMG, um, back in, I think, like, 2015, 2016, um, after the Karkum SMG went away or got nerfed or whatever. After it wasn't like being used by anyone anymore. This was the gun that like more more people had access to and there's no way I'm gonna get that guy. Okay, yeah. This is the gun that like more people had access to and, and people were just shredding others with it. Um but it's been changed quite a few times since then. I don't remember what the exact changes that they applied to it were. Um, I do feel though that I do feel like they did change the recoil. Like it's, it, it sort of has a recoil, almost circular recoil, I'd say. And I don't remember that being always there. So I think that's new. If I'm honest, and if I'm not honest, I'd say nothing's changed. Oh god, it's not a good. Shouldn't just line up behind each other like that. Is this guy here? Nope. It's not there. Um, let's smoke it out and push there. Teammates got this under control. No! Oh no! See, like, I I think I hit... I'm pretty sure I hit his head there, but I got such a tiny hit marker. Let alone a kill. Um, so, yeah... <laughs> So it goes to show, uh, probably don't want to choose this weapon of all of them. I personally am going for the US-12 because I don't know how good or competitive it, you could consider it nowadays, but it's definitely like a, a classic at, at the very least. So that's why I want the US-12. I think the best one out of all of them is probably the rifle, the Down Syndrome. Um... The sniper is obviously very very strong as well and it's a semi-auto, that's the thing, it's a semi-auto, like, you're not gonna be treated very nicely if you take a se <laughs> semi-auto and it's sort of like a, a different type of weapon, you almost need to be like a special type of person to use those. <laughs> no offense to anybody who uses those, but I mean like, <laughs> at least in PvP, like I don't see people using that in PvP, like semi-autos. I mean, they do use them of course, but like, it's not, what's it called? Is there's no honor in using it? I don't know how to put it. it it's sort of weird, I don't know how to explain it, but like, semi-autos are just like, they're a no-go, at least for me, at least in PvP. 
Maybe if I'm trolling or something, but even then, like, oh, somebody's around the corner. Oh, got him. Got him, boys. Oh! Oh, like, waiting for us, dude. If you can smoke and flash and go in. Oh, oh! <gasps> Shooting out into the nothingness. Trying to get kills. Oh, I somehow... <laughs> see core carry. Um, somehow got that. I killed that rifleman. Oh no. You see, like, kick a full bar? Just because I'm full bar? What? That's very, um, connectionist. Gosh, the things you see in these days. Racism wasn't enough. Connectionism has come to. Let's just plant a mine here and go from the middle. Uh, I guess I don't need to flashbang with this natural smoke screen here. I'm so I'm I'm always scared to like push into enemy territory like this, unless people are just sitting there like that. <laughs> In which case, it is fine. Like this map, like it's just bad. Like they need to even a map like this, which has I think this is one of the maps that. They released after they realized like, oh yeah, spawn trapping is a thing and we're heavily plagued by it. I think this is one of the maps that they release while keep having that in mind. And they sort of try to address it if I am I'm not wrong, but it obviously did not work. So, oh no, I was going to get a triple. You can see a lot of people camping up there, but also it's, it's not that hard to spawn trap on this map either. Um... See if I can. Oh, I need to like smoke there, so I can push out. Words. Oh, he died. I said don't need to. Oh, got two. No, <laughs> he's just waiting for me. He's got half of my deaths are that guy's fault. Let me see if I can like pick him off somehow. My snipe, my sniper, my pistol isn't too good for that. <laughs> I won't be able to push out. <laughs> I can get a Kobe here. I always find that expression super, like, almost cringe. A little weird to say. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, game's coming to a halt here. Let me not die there. Can we get a last minute kill here? No! We cannot. Anyways, that's the game. That's the video. Did we lose? Did we win? Is that me on the screen? Is that me? Oh, it is me. I, n I don't recognize the armor I'm wearing. <laughs> um, game was a little short, but I think it, it was enough to hopefully demonstrate how this gun is. How bad this gun is, I should say. Um, but if you feel like you, you want more convincing gameplay or more... Um, more exposure to this weapon, feel free to let me know. Um, I'll try to record something else with it as well. But like I said, not a very great gun. I think it even got buff recently at some point, but still not very great. Um, here are the stats. I'll, I'll just show it real quick. Um, pretty low damage, pretty low RPM, very long range, but you saw how the recoil fucks that up. Um, I think that's good hip accuracy. Not sure. Actually, no, it doesn't seem like it's very good hip accuracy. Um, aim accuracy is just typical and clip size is standard. So, um, yeah, at least in my opinion, definitely not your cho the best choice of weapon to go for in this Top Gun event. Um, and hopefully I was able to help you make up your mind if you were trying to go for this gun you're hesitant to choose this gun for the Top Gun event or not. Anyways, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed that video, and uh, stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!